T minus two minutes, 42 seconds. Stage one locks load is closed out. Stage two will continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line. So you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong rack. That'll be normal. That'll happen Able around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and 40 seconds. We're going on internal power now. Just a few seconds away from the stage two locks load being complete. It's been almost nine years since we've been in this position. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focus on two now. Lock is closed out, propellant fills are complete. Dragon is in auto idle. Stage two locks load complete. All fuel, all oxidizer on Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. Ground gas closeouts is starting. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have 
main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. Miko. Miko. Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Separation confirmed, the first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. propulsion is nominal. Which will cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Dragon, nominal trajectory. All right, here a nominal trajectory. So Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. There it is, the SpaceX launch. Great job, whoever did it. Nice. A little over four minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Bob and Doug flying at more than 5,600 miles Dragon per hour. SpaceX nominal trajectory. All right, we're Already gonna almost 200 miles downrange from the mm -hmm. Kennedy Space Center. Thousand nominal trajectory. Continuing. And while they continue uphill, it looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. If on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute. There we uh, go. Back to space launch. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is it. Thank you. Bye.